Good morning, ladies and gents. I am here in front of you with this screen recording because I am facing an issue that I could not find any kind of solution. Therefore, any advice or ideas would be highly welcomed. So I'm going to post this video on YouTube because that's the only way I know how to do it. And I'll share the link with you guys on other platforms. So uh, this is what I'm working with. My Windows 10 Pro 64-bit operating system, uh, Ryzen 7 1800X 3.6. I got 16 gigs of RAM, DDR4 uh, 3200. The motherboard is an MSI Tomahawk B350. What else? The, mod the graphics card is the Radeon Pro VX 5100 with 8 gigs of VRAM and I'm trying to install Catalina OS but I wouldn't be able to do that without the help of this step-by-step -step video tutorial which was posted by Tech Turner Live and man oh man this is a very very good video very detailed look I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'm not by any chance very smart. And if I can follow it, then he's doing a very good job. So apparently I cannot follow it because at his suggestions, I downloaded all the necessary files. Uh, he's got the download links in the description and um, he explains everything in this folder here. So I have this uh, folder structure, right? So the first thing that I need to do is to download the Mac OS, which you do by running this file as he is suggesting. And I'll show you one second. Here, let's go to uh, git mac OS dot bat. So right click, run as min. Okay. Now, if you get this window, okay when you right click and you are running as admin just click on more info run anyway yes all right now you can see here so basically yeah if you don't have python installed you would be prompted to install python i did have it installed i had um, the version 3.7 now i don't get here because when I try to run this as administrator, I don't know if you noticed, if you caught that, but it just kind of like glitches out. So there is something that shows up for a split second and then it doesn't do anything. And this would follow, this would be like a next step. And it's again, it's a batch file, it's a BAT file and does the same thing. But on the other hand, for this one, I have the Python file which runs as it should if I run it. So now the concern is that I can not get this file to run. So after yet spending yesterday uh, doing research online, uh, somebody suggested that I should probably try to, to get a terminal and change directory to this navigate to this particular folder where the file is, right? So now I'm, I'm here and then uh, kind of run it manually. So it's uh, GIB Mac OS dot BAT, right? So if I run it like this, you'll see that I'm getting this message. Again, I'm not even sure that this is an error message. It's very interesting because what do you do when you get an error message? You try to find out if how to fix this, how to get this working, right? Now, I did not find online anything in regards to this. So am I supposed to wait until the afternoon and run it again or what? Tomorrow it's going to work? No, it's not going to work because it's been, I tried it yesterday and today and this, uh, that's not, you know, it's, it's a joke basically, but it's not working. So I'm still in this situation. Now, like I said, I had the Python version 3.7. Uh, I uninstalled that one. 
Somebody suggested that I should do a store install because there are a few different things that uh, happen differently when you install it through the store. And I believe it has to do with the user authentication credentials and stuff like that. So it kind of like does a couple things differently. And I thought, you know what? I'm not going to go for the last version. I'm going to go for the 3.8 because it's better established. And I don't know what I thought, but I, I thought that I, that would probably be a better option at the moment. So I did try that 3.8 through the store installed. Obviously, uh, I added everything in the um, uh, environment variables and in, in the system. The path that worked. I had some issues with that. I fig, you know, I figured it out obviously with with help from good people like you. Then I uninstalled that because that didn't gave me the same results that I'm getting now. I then installed it manually, as in I downloaded Python to. Uh, a particular folder and then I installed it from there and I got the same results. I uninstalled it and then I again downloaded Python 3.9 which is the latest version to the date and um, I installed this one now and to just just to avoid all complications and anything that can go wrong I installed it in my root folder so I just created the Python uh, uh, folder and installed it. So as you can see, it, it runs, it works uh, perfectly fine. So that should not be an issue, right? But there might be something that I perhaps should address. So because I didn't know where in 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 which in, in the system variables or in the user variables to add this so i added it in both now i don't think that this is the problem that that doesn't let this process move forward but i had to mention it so i put it in here right and i also put it in here and i moved it up a bit just to to try different things i had it in different positions as well but it didn't do anything. So where am I going wrong, guys? I mean, you know, it's getting frustrating. So any suggestions, guys? Thank you very, very much. Again, uh, stay legendary, and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Thank you.